How's it boys and girls? Thanks a lot for tuning in. What you guys heard there was the Superfly Mark II Tone Band of Fuzz from Cuslader Effects. And to be perfectly honest, when I saw the name Superfly, I immediately thought of Curtis Mayfield. So I was going to do a 70s era soul funk type of uh, backing track. But then I realized that people like Curtis Mayfield and the Isley Brothers, they mainly use the Big Muff Fuzz for their tone in conjunction with some kind of univibe or phaser or rotary. So I decided to go the other iconic route, which is Jimmy Page from the band Led Zeppelin. He's one of the most famous names to mention when it comes to the tone band, the sound. But there are a variety of other plays as well, such as Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, who also used it. Without getting into too long of a history about fuzz, it actually can be found on many different records, many different styles of music, such as rock, blues, funk, soul, R&B, grunge, stoner rock, even some heavy metal tunes. If you're new to using fuzz pedals, it might take a bit of getting used to at first, but there are actually quite a few things you can do to get yourself accustomed to them a lot faster. The obvious one is to listen to the great old records from Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Curtis Mayfield, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Eric Johnson, the Isley Brothers, the list goes on and on and on. Another one is to play around with the amp settings, especially the gain and the treble. Fast pedals can be also very useful in a lot of situations. You can actually sit in with the horn section and you can accentuate some of the lead lines. You can use a fuzz to double up certain voicings within the arrangement to bring, either bring them out or to thicken them up. A very good example of this is the song called Run For Cover by Marcus Miller, where the main line is actually thickened up by an overdraft pedal, but fuzz actually works a lot better in this situation, in my opinion, because it's a bit thicker sounding. You can also use it on bass to add a lot of extra growl and grit. Uh, a notorious bass player for this is Larry Graham from uh, Graham Central Station. You can also make this pedal sound really heavy, especially when you down tune the guitars and you can get some real great chugging tones when you get the gain and the tone balance right. And if you want to make it sound extra heavy, then you can even add an octave down pedal to add really a lot of thump to the low end. Another thing that I like to do is to use it in conjunction with some kind of overdrive pedal like I have done so in the song, the solo especially. Uh, I use my trusty old Klon clone made by the same company, Kasleder Effects. What this does, it actually adds some extra saturation, which is very useful when you're doing solos. I like to think of fuzz pedals as the exotic colors on your palette that a painter paints with. And you can get some really, really interesting tones. Sometimes, even though some settings might sound a bit strange on their own, but when you put them together in a song, you'll find that it somehow strangely just has some kind of special magic to it. Like I said, it's an acquired taste. It's kind of like when you first eat chocolate mixed with chilies. It's a bit of a strange taste and it's a bit of getting used to. But once you get a taste for it, and you actually find out that it's more of an aphrodisiac for the music you're creating. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out the pedal. And hopefully see you guys soon. Cheers.